Hello Travelers, Boardman21 here, and tonight I want to go over some of the most powerful items that you can find in the early game that are good during the early game, through the campaign, and even into the end game. Some of these items can be used almost universally, so we're not going to go over specific, like, unique, build-enabling uniques and things like that, but whether you're a new player, a veteran, starting fresh, not starting fresh, playing trade, not playing trade, these are some of the items that you're either going to want to keep for yourself or share with others so if you see them drop you definitely want to pick them up so let's go ahead and start with number one and that's going to be the vigorous stout Lagonian idol of life this is a hybrid health idol they're very common they can start dropping right off the bat you finish a quest to open up your first idol slots in the council chambers the first time that you go in there and when it drops those idol slots there is a chance to have this drop it's rare but it happens and when it does it's definitely one you want to pick up and make sure that you don't accidentally glance over because it gives you increased and flat health in a one by two slot and almost every build in the game wants to put these on whether you're low life full life it doesn't it just doesn't matter you're gonna want these idols probably the most popular idol in the game second we have bleeding heart and bleeding heart allows you to leech a huge portion of any damage that you do this can start dropping it only requires level four which means that you can get it very early on almost as soon as you start a new character a very very popular item to use especially for leveling we have the Arboral Circuit. The reason this is huge is it gives you move speed. It also has a chance to summon a Illusionary Tree when you get hit. And that Illusionary Tree has huge taunt, which can give you huge survivability during the campaign. A lot of people use these for leveling up, so if you have one fall, you definitely want to pick it up, especially if you plan on leveling alts, or if you just want to sell it. Then we get into some of the low life builds, and that's where Zanglius comes into play. And Zanglius takes a current portion of your health and consumes it per second, and then, however much life you're missing, it takes a percentage of that and gives you Ward, which is basically additional health, but in a different stat. And using Zanglius with the new experimental gloves that you can get means early on, you can go low life, it is viable. So if you see those exiled mages and you actually kill one in the early game, which can take a while, they're pretty tough, you have a chance to drop the same stat on the experimental gloves, and these two together allow you to really go into a low life build really early on, which can give you a lot of survivability. Speaking of the Exiled Mages, you can also have the Mad Alkalus Ladle drop for them. Now this one's more kind of specific towards going a spell-based class, but if you have one of these drop, you're definitely going to want to keep it because there's going to be people that want them. They're not very rare, it takes about 10 kills of the Exiled Mage on average to get one, but when you get one of these, you definitely want to make sure you pick it up. And then that brings us to all the Weaver Will items, and Weaver Will items are very powerful. Most of them require level 30, some of them a bit sooner, but these are items, and there's one for each class, and then there's some universal ones. But if these drop, you definitely want them, because they can add additional affixes while you're leveling up, that basically turn them into legendaries, which can give you really powerful affixes early on in the game, and even some of these are used in the late game on some builds. So for example, this pair of boots here has a 10 Weaver's Will, which means that it can add 10 tiers of affixes to it. Once it starts adding them, it'll turn red like this, and you can see that this pair of boot now has 8 stats. I've got Int, Movement Speed, Dodge, Health Regen per second, on top of the normal base stats of Increased Movement Speed, Chance to Gain Haste, and you can put those in many slots. So these are very, very powerful items. So if you have any Weaver's Will items drop, whether the gloves, the relic boots, any of them, including the shields, the uh, Golden Aegis stacking block chance shields. There are eight different ones in total, so make sure to collect them all as they really will help you leveling up, and if you get the right stats on them, they can become extremely powerful. But hey, that's my list of some of the most powerful items as a new player that you should definitely keep an eye out for when starting a new character this cycle at 1.0. As always, stay safe and have a good one.